Hi, Mike Sutton here with Mobilitex. We want to be your IT department. I've got a lot of great clients in the local area, one of which is Nice Insurance Group down in Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. They are going to be the second feature of my client spotlight video series. I had the chance to sit down with Greg and Julie. Here's the interview. Mike Sutton with Mobilitex. I had the chance today to sit down with Greg and Julie Nice of Nice Insurance. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me, guys. Uh, Julie, you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little about Nice Insurance? Hi, I'm Julie Nice, and um, I've been with the agency for seven years. Mm -hmm. And this is my husband, Greg, and he'd love to tell you more about the agency. Well, Mike, again, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, it's always uh, great, uh, I think, when we can get an, uh, an opportunity to explain our business, uh, explain who we are. Uh, and just get the message out there that we're you know, trying to help people. But uh, uh, Nice Insurance Group uh, was created uh, in 2007 um, from the former agency of Stradling and Speeds Insurance Agency. Uh, and that agency had, had been, has a long history here in, in uh, the town of Honeybrook. And uh, the former owners uh, have always been ethical and honest. And uh, we try to uh, mimic that as in, in our business today with the folks that we have uh, here uh, at our agency. And um, we're all about providing good service, uh, great insurance programs and products uh, at a low cost. And that is, uh, I guess, a great commercial for us. So. Now, you said Nice Insurance came into being in 2007. I have been working with uh, Stradling & Spies. Mm -hmm for about 10 years since we moved back into the area. I started with your dad and then you took things over. What, what was that transition in 2007? Well, the um, transition in 2007 took, took place, unfortunately, after my father passed away in, in 2006. Um, there were already, you know, plans in place for, you know, perpetuation and, and there was plans for my, uh, Julie and I to, to take over. Uh, unfortunately, he departed uh, much sooner than we all really wished or wanted to, uh, so we had to sort of put everything in fast forward, uh, and and basically just uh, since we were creating a new company, uh, you know, therefore we needed to need to create a new agency, and and thus we wanted to keep uh, one thing about our agency, and one thing about this town and the area I think that we serve is that it's um, very family oriented, mm -hmm. and we felt that uh, going uh, with Nice Insurance Group, since my father was so well known in the area, and uh, you know to keep Nice Insurance Group the naming of uh, making a family kind of uh, connotation and because I think it's important I think people respond to that and uh, and certainly it's something that uh, the former owners of Stradling and Spies uh, uh, promoted as well. So, so the same, same customer, same services, just a little bit of rebranding mm -hmm. there. Correct, yes. We, in fact, um, I believe at this juncture that we are uh, stronger uh, in terms of an agency force that we have of our employees. Uh, and also the products and offerings and insurance programs that we have um, uh, to serve uh, more people uh, and, and beyond what we had done in the past. So uh, our affiliation uh, with Keystone Insurers Group has really promoted that, uh, has, has provided us more stability uh, in, in this insurance market uh, and also give, has given us more resources and, uh, and, and a whole lot more tools in our, in our bag to operate from uh, that we can offer uh, so many, uh, uh, just a breadth of so many different insurance programs. So it just it doesn't end with just the auto and the homeowners, uh, or the workers' compensation or the general liability. There's uh, so many more things that that can be offered there. So, and you know, I'm pretty familiar with the services. Like I said, I've been a client for about ten years. I've got my home and auto with you. In fact, Julie just saved me a couple hundred dollars this year on, on my policies. I've got my uh, business insurance with you guys. Julie, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, you know that review process and, and how you provide customer service here? Sure. Uh, what we do is every year upon renewal, uh, we have a management software system for our clients that um, will compare last year's rates with this year's rates. Uh, so we can be proactive in contacting our clients to let them know if there has been a rate increase. And we can review their coverages to see if they're uh, possibly as a new program with the company they're currently with, um, or if there's if their, their needs have changed where we need to update their coverages. So we have that capability through our system. Um, we also have, um, we, we do ask our customers, I feel with the relationships that we do have with our clients, 
to keep the lines of communication open both ways. Everything is done electronically now, so oftentimes the time the customer is um, receiving their information from the company, we're also receiving it from the company. So we ask that they also give us a call, and, and we've been fortunate enough to have those relationships where they are comfortable calling us and allowing us to, um, you know, review the policies. So if they're with a current, um, with a company that has had a rate increase, being an independent agent, we have other companies that we can shop their insurance around. Mm -hmm. uh, so they don't have to leave the agents that they've come to know and love, um, but they can change their companies. So it's been it's been really working well. And then, you know. You talked about the software that you use that, that mm -hmm. allows you to do that. Um, the technology changes also are changing the market for you. So a lot of times you're competing against websites and you know huge multinational insurance companies. What's the advantage of continuing to work with Nissan in, in this environment? I think if I, if you don't mind me interrupting, I think um, uh, one of the I believe common misconceptions of the internet um, and direct marketing. Uh, is that it's bigger, better, and cheaper, and it's ultimately not the case. Uh, there's we've proven it many times over and over where we've gone up against you know, an Allstate or a Geico or a State Farm or an Erie even, uh, where we've come out better, uh, provided better service, provided uh, lower uh, premiums, and provided better coverage, mm -hmm. and it happens routinely. So it's not just once in a while. Um, so. You know, people, uh, I think, sometimes believe the independent agent, as we are, are, you know, old, stodgy, and that's the b old way of doing business. And really, we bring much more value than I believe an 800 number does uh, in terms of, of, you know, providing the information and uh, letting the customers know and building a plan that's, you know, specific for the customers. All of our agents here in our office are licensed and uh, very capable and very experienced, so we're very proud of that. Well, and the other thing, um, what's nice about working with an independent is that you have the option of coming into our office and dealing with us one-on-one. -on -one. Um, if you should call our office, you're always going to get someone who answers the, answers the phone. It's not going to be an automated system. But on the other side, if you prefer to pay your bills online in the evening and we're closed, you still have that option of working on uh, through the Internet um, to do that. So it's kind of the best of both, yeah. both worlds. So, so I mean, I would imagine people are kind of on the market for insurance when they move or when their rates go up and they want to shop around a little bit. You know, when do you find people, you know, should review their insurance, should, should get new quotes, and what's your advice to those people as they're doing that search? Um, I always recommend uh, it, probably every three years is usually a good marker, you know, for a real full review. Um, the uh, unfortunately, in the last four or five years, the the market has really changed. And when I say market, I mean insurance industry has really changed uh, a lot. Uh, there's been well, what they call we've gone through what they call a soft market, where uh, price pressure and competition has been very heavy, um, thus leading to people, you know, wanting to shop uh, because their neighbor or their you know family members said, "Oh, I got a great rate from X Y Z." Uh, I think that's a that's a short term, you know, solution. Um, ultimately, you know, the insurance companies, uh, and, and we represent many uh, many high quality insurance companies, uh, believe in merit uh, that the customer, you know, being there a long time, especially when it comes to claims and processing, uh, if it's you know a long time client, and uh, you know, it, it, there is just better, uh, re, you know. Exchange as far as the the, the company mm -hmm. and client relationship goes. So, um, you know, we are like Julie said, we are always here to help. Um, you know, we have a little over 3,100 customers and a staff of six uh, here, and uh, it's you know we try to be as proactive as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, unfortunately, sometimes things get you know through the, through the cracks and and. You know, that's just the way it is, but, you know, we, we strive to do our best, obviously, and, and nobody's perfect, and, you know, we, we try to do our best at all times. So, so may, and maybe you can answer this both for individuals and for companies. If you sit down and do a review for somebody, what are the most common things where you find that they're underprotected or unprotected or 
something that they've neglected for a long time that they really should be addressing? What are the most common things you see there? One of the things that has a, has a lot of people confused with their insurance policy, they'll, they'll see their dwelling limit at, I'm just going to throw out some numbers, say $100,000. And they said, there's no way my home would ever sell for $100,000 today. The market, it, it's just not there. How insurance policies are written, it's actually replacement costs. What would it cost to rebuild that home if, God forbid, there was a total loss at today's cost to rebuild? Mm -hmm. So oftentimes it's higher than the market value, um, especially with the way fuel prices and everything have gone up. Um, but that's one of the biggest misconceptions is that they feel that they're overinsured, so they're being charged higher premiums when in actuality, Oftentimes they're underinsured because they're not taking into account all their upgrades within their own home. So that's one thing um, I think that is, you know, it seems like we're explaining that a lot, especially in this day and age with the way the market is. Yeah. So. And I, I would point out on the, uh, on the, on the, continuing on the personal lines end, uh, for the automobile coverage, um, going back to the Internet and the Internet marketing people that, you know, 15 minutes will save you 15%. Uh, to be very careful, there are a lot of coverages there that are somewhat hidden, like you, when you talk about first party benefits coverage, medical, and uh, there's income loss, there's funeral benefit, uh, you can buy extraordinary medical, um, the benefits. A lot of those coverages are sometimes lost in translations when, when uh, companies on the internet or 800 numbers are just focusing on the liability limits and the deductibles and not concerned about if, if there was towing or rental reimbursement mm -hmm. or all these extra uh, first party benefits coverages on. In any, and I tell this to everybody, you, you, whether you buy insurance or you buy a car or you buy a hammer at the store, you get what you pay for. And if it's cheaper, there's probably a reason it's cheaper. So, A lot of times those internet companies, I think, you know, they want to get you legal. And that, that protects the other party. Um, if, if you're at fault. But if, say, if you're hit by an uninsured or underinsured motorist, who's going to protect you? That's the, those are the type of coverages that are often not discussed fully. Yeah. So a lot of people say, I just want to get legal. Give me the cheapest. Well, I want to protect you and your family as well. So yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll discuss all those different type of coverages and hopefully they'll, they'll make a good decision. We really don't like selling policies that are just getting people legal um, because I don't think it's enough. Do you find anything on the business side where business owners are just consistently underinsured in these specific areas? Um, well, on the business side, there are so many variables there um, that a, a true professional really needs to sit down with the business owner, and frankly, every year uh, as, a, as a review process because businesses are, are changing, uh, and, you know, and employment and what services they offer are changing, uh, certainly payrolls and people are changing. Uh, so that's a constant review process. Uh, the insurance uh, can be tailor fit, usually customized, you know, specific to each business because they're all different. No matter if it's the same type of retail, you know, dental office, there's always variables in there that 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 uh, uh, that need to be considered. So I uh, I always with with pretty much all of our renewal and our and our client, commercial clients. That we have, we we do uh, either via phone or face to face, you know, an annual re review process to make sure that the coverages are there. Uh, and again, if it was a service that they were that they've added over the year that we, they forgot to tell us initially or throughout the year that we pick that up because, uh, you know, obviously the worst time to find out there's no coverage is when there's a claim. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, we, we do our best again to uh, try to ferret those out uh, with with that every renewal process. So. Um, you know, it, it's really, uh, it's really more about the review. It's not so much about. Uh, I mean, certainly property values and all that, like Julie had mentioned, on the homeowner side, come into play on the commercial side as well, for buildings and, and personal property. Um, but it's really, um, it's more about the relationship and feeling comfortable with the insurance agent that you're dealing with. And again, with our experience, uh, we have three commercial representatives here. Uh, one who's been in the business for um, over 30 years, uh, approaching 40 actually, and um, uh, and myself, and, and so 
we have a lot of experience there, and I think that is the most important part when you're yeah. dealing with the commercial side. It sounds like the main message there is, you know, businesses will get bigger and smaller, the market will change, the business environment will change, mm -hmm. and the business owners really just need to make sure that they're reviewing their insurance needs mm -hmm. right. along with the rest of those. Well, and with all those changes, the risk changes. Yeah. So it might be something that's commonplace to the person. Well, oh, we're just adding, you know, we're, we're a horse farm, but now all of a sudden we're giving rides to children. Well, that's a huge, that they might not think, oh, we always had horses, what's the deal? Well, now you're putting children on it, you know, so it does change the risk considerably. Yeah. So we, yeah. that's what we try to uncover. Great. So. Anything else you want to add while we're here? Well, um, again, thank you for the opportunity. It's, it's, really, it's really great to get our message out. We are an independent insurance firm, uh, again, representing many quality companies uh, like Travelers, uh, Donegal, uh, Hartford, um, uh, farmers and uh, Berkeley Mid Atlantic, to, to name just a few, but many others. And uh, we really uh, promote that you know we can uh, provide an insurance program or product to virtually anyone that comes in their front door. And I'd like to just throw out our website is uh, www.keytoinsurance.com. So if you want to see a full list of all our um, products that we sell, as well as the companies that we represent, that's a good place to look. Like I said, I've been working with, with you guys for probably about 10 years now. I've, I've had a great experience, good good service, uh, so everybody should definitely go check out the website. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me today, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.